And we want to say that the idea that we have with the ZHO, with the Zayat organization, is actually, I would like to bring one of their staff members over here in yep. one of the episodes, talk about uh, the program and the collaboration we have. But I believe they mentioned that they want to do with us uh, one event, one yes. year event. Uh, it's like a special Olympics. Yeah, they're going to do multiple sports in one day to really, you know, showcase the, 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 the friendship. Yeah, I and understand. the collaboration I understand. between all of us. I understand. I agree. So this is uh, one of the also KPIs of the Sports Wellness Office. This is ongoing, and it's happening, and we are developing. And this is a great opportunity for our students uh, to be part of it. If they want to volunteer, they can pass by the Sports Wellness Office uh, throughout the week, get the information, the timings, and the location. We're doing it on the female and the male side yep. equally. Uh, I believe we had one extra visit this uh, past November. Yep. Can you say something more about it? Sure. Uh, we had the honor of uh, co-hosting uh, a seminar. It was performed by Dr. Nick Ashell. Uh, he was, he's a marketing professor, uh, formerly from the American University of Sharjah. Now I believe he's somewhere in either the States or Australia as a professor. And he has a really an extraordinary story. He attempted to run across the States. So more than 5,000 kilometers and he holds the Guinness World Record for one man to do that feat the longest. Fortunately, he had uh, an injury, a very severe one, as we saw in his seminar, and as he explained it, got hit by uh, a truck, absolutely destroyed his lower body and internal organs. But later on, he came back, and he still ran across the States, and his story is so inspiring, and every single day, it's like he was doing, you know, an equivalent to a marathon or a half marathon. 20, 30, 40 kilometers in one day. Uh, me as a quote-unquote runner. Yeah. I know how hard it is even to do a simple 5, 10 or 15K, let alone him running so, so much. I agree, in I these, agree. In these uh, couple of years. I don't really recall how much it took for him, how many years, but even still, it's a... Uh, it's a massive, it's, it's, massive feat. Actually, I was here with, uh, with uh, we want to shout out to Dr. Nick as well, and uh, Mr. Sabri Abbas, part of the student affairs in Abu Dhabi University, who was a link between us and uh, Dr. Nick, and was uh, actually we done it in this facility. It was many students over here uh, during his uh, presentation and webinar, I don't know how you call it, the clinic, but it was really like a powerful story, very unique. Yes. And uh, we always support to, to hear something like that, especially if it's connected with the sport, where actually those things that we are suggesting that sports can develop certain characters uh, for our life uh, and yeah. attributes. This is it. Dr. Nick was, uh, was here. It was one hour uh, presentation and, yes. and uh, lecture, and there was a Q&A, and many students were over here. Many questions were, were asked, and uh, it was excellent. I was, I was... Wow. I was speechless, I was listening, and I was uh, inhaling. But definitely one of the good uh, visits uh, for us and for, for the Sports Wellness Office and Abu Dhabi University and also for our students. Yes, definitely. So, uh, uh, but after him, we yeah. had ADU Games. Yeah, ADU Games. What can you say, what can you say about that? ADU uh, Games, ADU event. Games are, are, are becoming a traditional competition for us. Uh, it happens every fall semester and every spring semester. And it's a competition that actually it's an outdoor sport event and it requires a team competition. Why is it a team? Because we emphasize the collaboration, we emphasize the team building, we emphasize the teamwork, uh, developing the, the hierarchy or communication between the team members. If I may, when you have that team of, usually we have four to five people in one single team, so what should they really focus on when building their team? Because EDU Games is multiple stations. One of them is football, yeah, one of them is basketball, you. one of them is running, one of them is rowing, one of them is push-ups and pull-ups. So what should the teams really have in mind when applying for this kind of competition? So basically when they apply for this competition, uh, competition which is going to happen in the spring again, uh, they need to be uh, uh, smart about the organization of their team. Because if I take the, the, uh, the guidance, we took it from the uh, uh, government games, Yep. which means that there are different stations. Let's say in the last competition we had six stations. We had a teamwork, which is, was related to the certain uh, activity which requires that all team members to be involved, such as the human trolley. Yes. 
Uh, you can check it online if you don't know the, 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 the exercise. Yeah. Uh, after that, it goes to the second station where we combine the push-ups, squats, uh, um, and, hanging, uh, hanging, hanging yeah. Yeah, hang, time hanging, and also we have uh, the crunches or abdominal area. So basically, they need to be able to distribute the, the, the workload yeah. amongst each other to, let's say, focus on the, on the team member who have better upper strength to perform, for example, push-ups or somebody who is better in the, in the strength of the legs or the lower body. Yeah. Uh, for example, the third station is the rowing. It had like a yeah, again, cardio-based two, exercise. Yes, two miles rowing, so we got to have somebody who has like a good cardio in the team. After that, we have a 100-meter sprint. Uh, I don't need to say much about 100 meter sprints. You have to be somebody who is fast and who is Quick actually feet. performing yeah, exactly. Uh, and after that, we have a skill set uh, which is connected to five free throws, basketball free throws. So we gotta have somebody who have yeah. ability to shoot those free throws and score five. And the last competition station was uh, scoring penalties. five penalties, yeah. but from the half of the football pitch. Yes. So, so this is what I would suggest. We suggest that when we have edu games, you think wisely about the team members and who can perform in each station. So it's a competition where the time is, is the winner, yeah? Yep. So whoever has the fastest time is going to be the winning team. And so far we had four, I believe, or uh, five. Yeah, this one was the fourth. This was the fourth, so, so it becomes traditional. We have good prizes usually during the AD games, and it will repeat in the spring, but we will give you the heads up in time. Uh, what else we have for the semester, what we covered? All of the usual, we have the varsity, we cover the varsity teams, our games, the league. Okay, we'll uh, say more about that in the previous episode. Yes. With us. Uh, I believe that is all, actually. A pretty busy semester, especially with your course as well. We also discussed that about in the previous episode. We did. We mentioned the powerlifting team, we mentioned the uh, calisthenics, yes. calisthenics team. We have a calisthenics team who are performing each week in this gym like uh, some of the basic beginner sessions so if you want to learn something more about calisthenics uh, you can pass by or we will link with the uh, student Yakub who is leading this this program yes we want to say in advance that during the winter term whoever gonna stay in uh, in Abu Dhabi and will be in campus you can pass by we'll announce uh, in time we're going to have arm wrestling competition. Yes. Upcoming. We'll try one. It was during the, the September. We had one wrestling, uh, arm wrestling competition with a uh, huge number of the students uh, involved. We were surprised yeah. with the number. So we decided to purchase this uh, professional uh, arm wrestling uh, yeah, the table. table exactly. And I hope we're going to have it by the beginning of January. So we will organize the competition and we will do the calisthenics competition. Hopefully, uh, if we manage to find a portable. Uh, pull-up bar yeah, and the deep bar. Yes. We will organize it and we'll see with some of the other universities who are actually having the calisthenics as a part of their program to do additional competition between universities. But we'll give you the heads up when the time comes. Taking to apply and participate? Uh, not at the moment, but <laughs> uh, I will be okay if you apply or our guys from the back of the camera. So well, whoever wants forward. to apply for the calisthenics, Ahmed, Caesar, you're welcome to, to check the registration link in and try it. <laughs> anyway. Already the first two, you know, already booked. Yeah, uh, no, you're booked already. I'm going to book you anyway. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways, shout out also to the team, calisthenics team, and the powerlifting team. We, we had a guest last week, uh, Miss Hadil. Yes. She's a part of the female power powerlifting team. And uh, that's about it. This is the third episode. The next episode, in a week time, we're going to try to cover everything happened uh, during this week and all the news, everything related to the Abu Dhabi University sports and the wellness and stay tuned we're wrapping up that's, that's it, it. Nothing more thank to you mascom for the collaboration we appreciate the time we appreciate your effort and the knowledge and everything goes with it thank you guys thank you everyone stay safe